Guy with the puff in the back. Who is you? Yeah. <laughs> in the building. <laughs> but y'all wondering, huh? Had to go ghetto tech on him? <laughs> was this the old the ghetto tech? Or was this just early Ox 88? <laughs> early Ox 88, no. Electro bass. We never thought of it as that, but. The electro bass. Yeah, we never thought of it as a uh, ghetto tech. We think that came kind of afterwards, but we just did music that we always thought we just want, just music that we want to dance to. We just try to do an extension of Kraftwerk and Cybertron and keep it more street. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put that edge to it. Yeah. The rawness. And vocals. That's something that's a little different, but we always try to, you know, do the vocals and stuff and make them make sense. I'm glad you emphasized the vocals. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to do that because they don't think they can, you know, create a different sound, but we always it wasn't took sound. it serious. I you mean, made it memorable because we could say, my AUX mind. There you go, right. man, of course. Right. We always thought about doing tracks. I mean, doing um, songs, songs instead of tracks. tracks. Yeah. Songs instead of tracks. Yeah. <laughs> well, we going to check this out. AUX <coughs> my Aux 88 is in the building. Keep Tucker, Tommy Hamilton. That's right. Black oh, Tokyo! Black Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> coming soon, coming, coming soon. soon. The next album. <laughs> right. Yeah. Got Big Gov in the building. Yo, 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 yo. yo. In the rap side. Detroit promo in full effect. We're going to get back at you in a minute. We're going to talk about it. throw it up. This is yeah. a camera. Go ahead. So this this don't stop. He he gonna stop and go to some music. This don't stop. Y'all can keep talking to that little butcher I'm gonna throw him up. See, you can do that on here. Yeah, we gonna give out some more of them Shana tickets too. So uh, stay tuned. Three one three eight four five nine six seven six. Don't worry about it. Three one eight hundred five eight five four three two two extension nine six seven six. Option one, not option two. You get the voicemail. It must mean Lady Light Skin has left the building, huh? Oh, she wasn't in the building. Detroit promo. Detroit promo, full effect, WHFR, Airborne, That was smooth. That was smooth. But for the video people, they won't understand. Hi, video people. So, we're going to let Mari have her way with them. Oh, I get to have my way? Have your way. Oh, my God. Crazy. I don't even know where to start. Um, cause I I've, I've known these guys, I've known Keith personally for over ten years. Mm -hmm. Longer than that. I'm saying minimal. I say over. Keith, yeah, you know Keith, did you tuck her? Yeah. No, he, no, he did not tuck. Me. Yeah, tuck you in. No, this no he, did like my right he did not. Tuck he did not tuck her. He did not tuck me. This been like my sister. She been there from day one, supporting. Always down. Show um, show Okay, I'm okay. Okay. Um, so C D release party is Saturday yep. at Asla. Slow. And Asla. it's Asla. for the C D called Mad Scientist. Mad Scientist. Yep, it's a, just a, a concept. We're trying to do well, stick with the concepts like we've always been. It's a mad scientist. It's um us caught in the arts quadrant, um, getting transformed into something a little bit different. So it's it's more scientific and um, Drexia, kind of like an old and old to Drexia. This album is a little mm -hmm. bit more electronic and still has the vocals, but it's um, concept driven. So we, it's it's more geared towards Europe, but a lot of people have always liked Doppler effect and Drexia. So right, we need some right. stuff on here that ghetto tech artists, ghetto tech people would love. It's still tight. Lab, so you know we're making fresh beats, just a whole different style than what. You normally know that um, Oxidy does. Yeah, it's more programming, more synthesis. Like we did a lot more. Um, we experimented with a lot of different instruments. We brought in a lot of vintage instruments, like you see on uh, on the cover. We're using the SH101, the old analog keyboard. Mm -hmm. We're using like a lot of stuff. So in this, it's just it's it, you know, well when you hear the album, and we've been gotten into more of a. the um, interludes and stuff. Everything is strictly concept. You hear. Mm -hmm. Just, it just makes sense. Really, original electro, what we did always was intelligent. It wasn't silly. Right. It wasn't meant to be, you know, joked about or whatever. But you know, we always took it serious. We could have went 
let's say, the ghetto tech route, but we was like, we already made music that people who like ghetto tech like, so we didn't have to change. You know? right, right, so, I mean, right. we respect that, but because we were shocked when we first found out when, when our first stuff out, it was being played at um, stripper clubs. He was cracking up about that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you made it. You ain't made it till it's played there. Always. That's right. And that's that's one thing that people don't understand. You know um, that they've heard your stuff, but they didn't know it was you. They didn't know. And and you know what we learned a long time ago is best to not tell people what we did. They didn't know we was traveling. They was going overseas. Just keep it like that. They don't need to know who we are. That's how them techno guys get down. Because right, right. most people, I hate to say, brothers be hating on you. You know, we, sometimes, I remember when we first started letting people hear our music. Man, y'all need to make it more like this. And it was like, you know what, no, we're going to make what we like. And we made what we like, and people just listen to it. All of a sudden, people come back. Oh, man, y'all made that track. Right. Yeah, we did. You know, oh, y'all travel here. Y'all go there. Yeah, we, we've been everywhere. So our well, tour's kicking off in May. I was just I was gonna ask that. I'm saying uh, so it's kicking off. Where's where's it to start? Um, we're looking at Slovenia, which is like a Russian territory. We've been playing lately. The last couple of years, we've been playing some different territories. We played um, Croatia, um, Malta, which is an island. Mm. Um, we always play Paris. Always play Germany. Um, and that's what, we, yeah. that's what AUX88 has always prided ourselves on. We were an electronic yeah. band in right. the 80s. Right. You know, and we used to do, you know, Planet Rock, It's Automatic. Doing covers clear. of Technicolor right. at the show. Yeah, covers color. of Technicolor. We were right. doing that <laughs> back when it was technical. out. So we always thought it was weird when we first met Juan Atkins, Eddie Folkestone. They would come over to yeah. our studio. And we like, man, they, they, right. y'all don't play? It's like, no, man, we use sequences and stuff. We didn't right. even know what a sequence was because we played it all the way through. So, yeah. techno musicians or musicians we were playing musicians, techno? Musicians. We were musicians, we were, we were musicians <laughs> nerds who like sci-fi, horror, karate movies. You know what I'm saying. Right, you know, right. We liked all that stuff. Kind of nerdy, but... Favorite karate movie. Come on, yeah, get it out. Everybody was out. Favorite you know, karate doing movie. Okay. Um, will Ox be doing... Any collaborations with like Shape, Strand, hmm. Claw Young? Well, Body Mechanic. I mean, Body you know mechanic. what? We always been cool. We've been, we been cool with a lot of people, but <laughs> it was really hard to get remixes because people never would ask us to do remixes. And <laughs> and you know when we went to we went to Croatia like two years ago, and these guys in Croatia, big fans, brought us over there, and we let them do a remix. So now we start opening Sounds it up the door to let other people do remixes. It's just that, like, for right now, we still look at it, even though we've been in the game a long time, we're still trying to get out here to let people know about us. You right. know, at one time, and we ain't, I ain't shy to say it, we didn't care if people in the States knew us or people in Detroit knew us because right. they really wasn't buying the music. Right. And they wanted a, you know, they wanted a mix tape or they wanted a mix CD. When you go overseas, they're still buying the records. They know all your music. And it's just a little bit more appreciation. Everybody in the States seems to be, they kind of, ride a wave they go along with what's what's, what's ever hot mm -hmm. when we came up mm -hmm. we listened to whatever was hot That's be right. it was white music whatever if it sounded yeah. good we listened yeah, to it a lot of people you don't want to that was i'll come to yeah. DJs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. not all of them not all of them i'm just saying some if you really was a dj Most. you always prided yourself on having something new now being a dj i i i, I won't side with djs because we falling off so you know yeah, well, you know. Well, part of it is radio, too. We need DJs to start playing more, um, yeah, I want to say, just solo. Just, 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 just say it. Say it. We, we need, need Detroit you know, promo. We need more DJs we need, we need with more heart. heart. We need more yeah. shows yeah. like yeah. Detroit more promo. More DJs with individuality. Detroit promo. Less politics. Less protocol. Exactly. Less politics. That's what it comes down to. Exactly. That's what we need. Because if your crate looks just like Godfather's, then what's the point? That's right. What is this, Mari? It's supposed to be a two-hour interview. Oh, I don't know. I had two hours. Can we play something? Can we play something? Please. Do y'all have okay. any more white labels of Christy Bacon? <laughs>